Hi guys, my topic for today is RNA processing and its stages which includes 5 prime capping, 3 prime poly A tail and splicing. RNA in one form or another touches nearly everything in itself. RNA processing is the sequence of events through which the primary transcript from a gene acquire its mature form. RNA carries out a broad range of functions, from translating genetic information into molecular machines, of the cell regulating the activities of the genes during development, cellular differentiation, and changing environments. The three most important steps of pre-mRNA processing are the addition of stabilizing and signaling factors at the 5' prime and 3' prime ends of the molecule and the removal of the introns in splicing. These processes include 5' prime capping, 3' prime poly A tail, and splicing. The starting point for capping with 7 methylguanylate is the unaltered 5' prime end of an RNA molecule, which terminates in a triphosphate group. This features a final nucleotide followed by three phosphate groups attached to the 5' prime carbon. The copying process is initiated before the completion of transcription as the nascent pre-mRNA is being synthesized. 5' prime cup is a specially altered nucleotide on the 5' prime end of some primary transcripts such as precursor messenger RNA. This process known as mRNA copying is highly regulated and vital in the creation of stable and mature messenger RNA able to undergo translation during protein synthesis. Mitochondrial mRNA and coroloplastic mRNA are not capped. The 3' prime most segment of the newly made pre-mRNA is first cleaved off by a set of proteins. These proteins then synthesize the poly A tail at the RNA's 3' prime end. In some genes, these proteins add a poly A tail at one of several possible sites. Therefore, polydenylation can produce more than one transcript from a single gene, alternative polydenylation similar to alternative splicing. poly a tail is added to an RNA transcript, typically a messenger RNA or mRNA. A poly a tail consists of multiple adenosine monophosphate. In other words, it is a stretch of RNA that has only adenine base. Splicing is catalyzed by the spliceosomes, a large RNA protein complex composed of five small nuclear ribonucleoproteins. Assembly and activity of spliceosome occurs during transcription of the pre-mRNA. The RNA components of SNRNPs interact with the intron and are involved in the catalysis. Two types of spliceosomes have been identified, major and minor, which contains different SNRNPs. RNA splicing is a form of RNA processing in which a newly made precursor messenger RNA transcript is transformed into mature messenger. During splicing, introns, the non-coding regions, are removed and exons or the coding regions are joined together.